Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Lorin and I wanted to give you guys a quick video about my semi-free form locks and I'm just going to pretty much explain how I started them, how I maintain them, and um, yeah, that's any other details that people usually ask me about. So um, to start from the beginning, I started my locks in October of 2019. And I started with like probably <laughs> like this much hair. It was um, a mini fro that I had my barber taper. So of course my sides were tapered and it was kind of like back into um, a mohawk kind of cut. So I probably had only like two inches of hair um, at the top. And then of course I would pick it out and it would add some more length to it. But that's the length that I started with. And then I bought a hair sponge from the beauty supply store. And one night I just went um, all over my head for about 30 minutes in one direction with that hair sponge. And of course, you know, some, some water. I continuously sprayed my hair throughout the 30 minute process. And by the end of that, process i had some little starter twist um of course longer on the top and middle and then because my sides were tapered <clears throat> some more they were shorter on the sides and that's the only time i ever i guess like twisted or manipulated my hair um i never retwisted after that i never um, like separated my locks or anything like that. So that's how I started them. And for, I, I think I would say like the first year I would, um, wake up every morning and when they were like really short, I would get a spray bottle and just spray my head, um, to make sure they would like get wet. And I did that because like one, I, <clears throat> I'm really not the type of person to use like a lot of product in my hair so of course your hair needs to be moisturized uh, your hair needs um, to not be dry because that's when you get breakage so if I wet my hair daily my hair wouldn't be like asking for water or moisture so that was one reason and the other reason was if I wet my hair of course when you wet your hair it falls so I would wet my hair and um, Sometimes, like, I guess t towards the end of that year, I would use a towel to kind of, like, squeeze the water out because by then it was, like, really thick and long um, compared to before, so it would hold moisture a little too much. And, um, like, anybody who has locks know that if you have too much, like, moisture in your hair for too long, it causes, like, a mildew type of uh, odor, odor, so you want to keep it more on the dry side and not soaking wet. But, yeah. Um, I would make sure I wet it so it would fall down nicely and it has some moisture in it throughout the day and that's pretty much all I would do. For washing, I still like to use black soap. Um, not like the Shea Moisture black soap or any of that other stuff, but like black soap from the beauty supply store, um, with like little pieces of, you know, plant matter and stuff in it. Like you can tell it's it's black soap uh, that's probably like four five dollars depending on where you get it from so black soap and then um, if I use oil I use olive oil um, or sometimes coconut oil but really olive oil is like you know it's just my go-to and in the beginning I would sometimes use a stocking cap when I wash my hair um, that's just so like my, like the little twist that I did have, they didn't just poof out into, um, like mini froze and stuff, but I gave up on that after a couple washes. So in the beginning I would wash my hair, uh, with a stocking cap, but after a while I said, forget the stocking cap and I would just wash my hair. And after a few washes and, you know, a few weeks of me, like, spray my hair every morning my hair did um you know locks did combine so if you look you can see like the product of 
me not caring about my locks combining. This is three locks. Uh, let me see. This used to be five or six locks. So I really didn't care if my locks combined. I would just let them combine. And sometimes I would even notice that like some of my locks were really thin. And I realized, like, I knew I didn't want super thin locks. So sometimes I would just go and combine them myself because I'm like, um, you know, if I want, like, a nice amount of volume in my head, I don't want my locks to be really thin. So, yeah, I did let my locks combine a lot, and I didn't try to separate them um, too often. So that's really, like, the first year, year and a half of my locks. And from that point on... It was just, you know, the basics, washing my hair, um, rinsing it and drying it with the towel real quick or a t-shirt every morning. And um, another question people usually ask me is if I wear a headscarf at night or a bonnet. I don't do that. Um, my hair locked really quickly because I made sure I wet it and gave it a chance to tangle up and lock up every day. And also because I kind of just like let it be. Um, I have silk pillowcases. So like I was never too worried about my hair breaking off a lot. Um, so, you know, any type of like friction on your locks will help them lock up. Any type of moisture will help them tangle. So my hair locked up pretty quickly. Um, these days, pretty much every time I take a shower, I will wet my hair. And then when I get out the shower, um, you know, I'll, I'll wring it out. Just wring it out. And I actually have a headband in right now. Let me show you guys. But if you are worried about breakage, a lot of people use a t-shirt, like a cotton t-shirt, instead of a towel. So their hair isn't, um, like, because the towel can be pretty abrasive. So if you're worried about breakage from a towel, then, you know, I recommend using um, a cotton t-shirt to dry. But, yeah, these days I just rinse in the shower. Um, whenever I shower, dry it, and just go about my day. I don't use any moisturizers or any um gels any locking uh you know wax or whatever is used to retwist or moisturize uh, i don't use conditioner if i use anything it's just oil like olive oil uh when i take a shower i do use shea butter on my body so sometimes if i have like you know extra shea butter left i'll just come through and rub it on my edges real quick um, you know, just to, to, just to have somewhere to put the shea butter, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look. And you can tell my hair used to be tapered by the way that it's, <laughs> like the way that it falls, you know, um, it does have like the look of hair that used to be tapered. Let me show you guys. So these are like the back locks. Um, my longest locks are where the longest part of my hair was, which was, you know, in the area where I had the most hair when it wasn't a tapered style. So like these are the longest. Um, and of course, the back, these are the shortest locks. And even on the sides, my locks are a lot shorter than like the middle, for example, or just the top in general. Um, lots of <laughs> loose hairs because I don't retwist, lots of new growth. And really, my hair just locks up by itself, you know, after 
time of washing it, rinsing it, it just locks up by itself. I never have to retwist. So that's all loose new growth right there. But hope that answers your, your guys' questions. Um, and if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comment section. So leave your questions. All right, thanks for watching.